If you're planning to start a painting company, one of the first steps should be to write a business plan. A business plan will help identify your own goals, determine if your business idea is viable, and to help you get funding if you choose to apply for funding. So let's dive right into what you need to include in your painting company's business plan. Number one, the executive summary. This is an overview of your company. It should include the following information. The owner's experience, your mission statement, information about the leadership team and employees, and your goals for growing the business. Number two, your company description. This is where you answer the following questions. Why did you decide to start a painting company? What particular problems are you trying to solve? And how will your business stand out from the competition in the painting industry? Number three, objectives. This is where you list out your specific goals for your business in detail. This can include things like specific sales revenue per year or expanding your operations to different service areas. Writing this out will help keep your painting business on the right track. Number four, market analysis. Do some research about the painting industry and find out what your competitors are lacking. You can read reviews from your local competitors to find out what they're missing the mark on. This will give you a competitive advantage in your market. Number five, organizational structure. Define the specific roles that need to be filled, such as painters, an office manager, and a project manager. You can also write about your planned hiring processes as your company grows and outsourcing services for processes like digital marketing and accounting. Number six, painting services. Include the type of work you intend to focus on. That could mean commercial painting, residential, or industrial painting. Number seven, marketing and sales. First, determine the number of clients you'll need to achieve your financial goals. Then, list out some possible marketing strategies to help you bring in those clients. This can include digital marketing, like search engine optimization, Facebook ads, and email marketing. It can also include traditional marketing, like direct mail, networking, and flyer distribution. Number eight. Funding requests. Add this section if you need funding for day-to-day -day functions and operational expenses. You can create a table outlining your forecasted expenses. This will let potential investors and lenders know exactly where their money will go. Number nine, financial projections. You should have a realistic financial forecast based on your market analysis and company goals. A well-researched financial projection includes a cash flow estimate, capital expenditures, and approximate payrolls for the next few years. You can create an annual or quarterly target profit that your team can work to accomplish. And finally, number 10, the appendix. This is where you add all relevant documents, definitions, legal notes, and other information to back up your business plan. You can also include resumes, certifications, bank statements, credit reports, charts, and any supporting document that a lender can use to determine if this is a viable business venture to invest in. And there you have it. Now make sure you check the link in the description so that you can download our free editable business plan for painting companies. Our template will make it easy for you to write your own business plan.